What is going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers. This is the final episode and final training of the 30 for 30 series. It's been a it's been a damn good time. Let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The 30 is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. Alright, so Yes, this is the final episode of the 30 for 30 free training series here um, on YouTube. Now, if you want to pick up anything that's a little bit more advanced, bodyweight training at the park and such, uh, check out Body Evo. We also have a couple of weeks of uh, home programming in that training system. It's only like 10 bucks. Link is in the description. Um, it, it's just been a good time being able to train at home, even a little bit at the park, and utilize what we have to build muscle. Now, if you haven't gotten started, and maybe you're jumping all the way to the end, whatever it is, get back to day one and follow the training system as written. You really can see results if you're completing each movement correctly. You remember, when it comes to body weight training, a lot of it comes down to resistance obviously and you can change that resistance by time under tension uh, leverages you can also be a little bit more explosive there's so many different variables when it comes to really building muscle as well as eating the right foods I had a saying way back in the day if you eat right you feel right if you feel right you look right you look right you do right you dig um, and it's really true if you are eating right you are going to feel and look the way that you want so Keep it in mind that you can build muscle with bodyweight training. Anyways, I'm gonna give you a few tips before we jump into this workout. And uh, it's gonna be pretty much as many reps as possible, testing our muscular endurance, testing a little bit of our strength, and seeing where we are from the last 30 days. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. For AMRAP, or as many reps as possible sets, stop when your technique is failing. We don't want to risk injury. Number two. Make sure you follow a full body 10 minute warm up before testing your muscular endurance in the training today. Number three, take some low stim crate you pre-workout to give you that extra edge in this workout. I took mine, you should too. Number four, if you haven't tried a creatine supplement before, I do suggest it. It can significantly increase your power output for a longer duration. I personally notice a difference. And last, number five, make sure you're consuming enough sodium each day. I generally have a bit of salt with every meal I consume. All right, starting off. Off, we have as many reps as possible pull-ups now again I told you about this technique thing you do not want to push yourself past the point of losing technique through the movement meaning if you have one scap and it's pulling like this and you're squirming everywhere or you're starting to kick up that's not even a rep so don't try and attempt it we want to stay extremely tight as much as possible so retracting the pressure scaps you're gonna be hanging from the bar which means you want to squeeze in your abs slightly so you're in a good position to tuck it in your chin okay as you come up here squeeze come right back down up squeeze come right back down okay this is a movement again that needs to be controlled and this will be an indication of, of pretty much how much more muscular endurance, I would say, you received during this 30 for 30 series. All right, so I have this little system right here. System, it's like a little bottle, or just a platform to place my other hand. This is one arm push-ups. Now, the reason why I'm using some type of a platform is because generally, when I watch the majority of people do any type of one-arm push-up, they tend to open up their hips a little bit, and they're trying to use their shoulder too much, but we don't want that, okay? We want to make sure we're in a really, really solid position and foundation similar to the regular push-up and just testing our strength on each side okay so the way that we're gonna do this push-up is find something that is I would say three uh, maybe six inches off of the ground or even eight inches off the ground okay and you're gonna get into a regular push-up position all right regular push-up position now open up your feet slightly okay from this position you want to open up your hand as well slightly it means external rotation of our shoulder joint now when we come down we want to focus on coming down to our right side and pushing from our right side all right this hand can actually even go into a fist if you would like it this is going to take a little bit of resistance away from that left hand that's just a stabilizer and we're going to come down and squeeze all the way through and the most important thing is when you come down you want to push up this way so that your hand is almost in the midline of your body at the top of the movement okay so it's here and then coming right back up trying not to utilize our left hand or the opposing hand okay got it that is your as many reps as possible set here we go we have time under tension pistol squat time under tension means about five to eight seconds going down and going up and the reason why we're testing this is because it's going to require a lot of muscular endurance to be able to stabilize all the way through down to the bottom and all the way 
back, the concentric and the eccentric. So, the way that we're gonna do this is find some type of a platform, find a counter or something, whatever is fine, okay? Now, your opposite leg will be here, as you can see, and then your opposite arm will be on the platform as so. And you can even put it, uh, grab onto it, put your, your palm on it, you can also have your elbow on it, that's fine as well, okay? Now as you go down, here's the key. We don't wanna go all the way down and put our knee at risk pretty much at all. So we're gonna come down to about here, rounding our back slightly, trying to keep our arm from opening up like this, keep everything closed in front of us, and coming right back up. Now, the key, again, is the amount of flexion that's in our knee and our hip, okay? So notice, and if you wanna guide with your foot, you can. I'm here, and that's just above parallel and coming right back up. Now, time and attention, as I said, is five to eight seconds, right? So it's gonna be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. Then I'm gonna come right back down and up. This is absolutely brutal, I promise. Uh, you might only be able to get five. You, you don't know. Um, let's try and shoot for 10, and let's get up there with this as many reps as possible set. Challenge yourself, and there you go. Okay, this is as many reps as possible set is going to be handstand push-ups assisted, utilizing the couch, one leg, okay? So, let me show you exactly how this is gonna work. So our hands are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart. Okay, just get in a very comfortable position. Make sure you're going to the top of your head and not to your nose, meaning when you're coming down, we don't want you here, we want you here, okay? And pushing through as so, all right? So, you're gonna have one leg up here, piking as much as you can. Notice how my pike is pretty significant and I'm keeping not externally rotated at my left hip, but it's closed, everything's closed, okay? Opening up my fingertips as much as possible and we're gonna come down to the bottom and come right back up. Now, key is here. Also, make sure your elbows aren't flaring out all the way. Make sure they're also not too far in. It's right around, uh, I can't even explain it by showing it in this position, honestly. It's just right in the middle, not flaring out, not being too close to your midline, okay? So coming straight down, go right back up, all right? So, I suggest going about seven reps on each leg. Uh, each for one leg, then switch it to the other one. Seven reps, seven reps, seven reps, seven reps, as much as you can, as many reps as possible. And then uh, you're done. Make sure if your technique's off, that you stop and you record what you've completed. Let's keep on rolling through this workout. I told you it's gonna be intense, but it's a, it's a huge testing phase for the 30 for 30 series to see how much you've actually built throughout this time. And when I mean built muscular endurance wise, is your endurance better or not? So we're gonna do headbangers here, super dated grip, headbanger, remember, I'm gonna show you right here before you even get started. Remember, our pinkies are gonna be squeezing as much as possible, our thumbs are gonna be under the bar, squeezing the bar. We're gonna press as much as we can in with our elbows, almost coming to each other, okay? And we're gonna come out slowly and really just control ourselves through the entire movement. So we're gonna come up, okay? Control. Squeeze our abs in, control. Control. Going to about your nose and back, okay? As many reps as possible, so make sure it's controlled. Squeezing your abs, you don't want to be here and overextending your back. Squeeze everything in, more of a neutral position, and then you'll be good to go. That is your as many reps as possible set. All right, here we go. We're really gonna test to see where our hamstrings are. This is more so uh, an exercise to get a lot of work done, not so much as many reps as possible where you pull a hamstring. We don't want anything like that, okay? So just make sure that right when you feel it burning like crazy, you do an extra couple reps and then you kind of just uh, table it and you complete and go to the next as many reps as possible set, okay? The next one is gonna be plank. So we're gonna be in this position right here, it's leg curl, all right? So as I've shown you in many other videos, you're tucking your, your stomach as much as possible so it's completely on the ground. Your feet can actually be a little bit about shoulder width, just within shoulder width apart, okay? If you don't want them too close, just a little shoulder width. All right, from here, push your elbows into the ground as much as possible. You're gonna come up and squeeze your glutes as much as possible as, as, as I just threw up. I just showed you full extension. Then from here, you're going to roll up, making sure that our toes are pointed to the top, almost pointing towards the, the ceiling or the sky or towards us as much as possible, not here. Here, okay? And you're gonna come up, right around this position here, making sure that our glutes are fully extended, our hips are fully extended, and coming right back, okay? Right up, right back. Right up, right back down. Up, 
as many reps as possible. Try and find a smooth surface, use some socks, and that is your as many reps as possible set. The final set or exercise of the 30 for 30 series. It's been a great time. I'm glad you guys were able to join me, um, but we're gonna be finishing very, very strong. And this is gonna require a lot of muscular endurance. Um, and let's test your, your mind more than anything. We're gonna be doing a plank as long as possible. Now, I would love to see if you guys can get two and a half to three minutes. Um, if you can get five minutes, if you can get 10 minutes, that's incredible, honestly. <laughs> um, so plank, make sure that you're doing it correctly. The second that you feel like you're losing your technique, just drop and let it go. Remember, if you can't hold technique, then you're putting yourself at the risk of injury. You don't want that, trust me. I've been injured too many times in my life. So our elbows and everything are gonna be completely straight. Notice how they're there, okay? A lot of you are gonna to wanna to go here and, put, and allow your shoulder to internally rotate. We don't want that, okay? We wanna try and keep them externally rotated and really with your scaps, your scaps sit here, we want them away from each other, which means pushing through the ground all the way up, pushing away from the ground, okay? So this position here, notice how I'm not here. I'm just pushing away as much as possible, squeezing my abs in, squeezing my glutes. This is a full body tucking in your chin, suspending your chin as long as possible. You don't wanna to be too far forward. We don't wanna to be too far back. It's right above, around your fists, above your eyeballs, okay? So that is your final, as many as possible set. I hope you enjoyed. All right, so that is your 30 for 30 series. It definitely was not easy. And if it was easy for you, I suggest going back and looking over your technique and how you can make it a little bit more difficult. Because me personally, I've been training for, I don't know, since I was 13, 15 years or so. Um, I still find a lot of these workouts pretty difficult, especially when you do them slow and control, time and retention. Also, when you're explosive in the, in, the, in the right instances and you're changing your hand placement, moving away, making the leverages a little bit tougher for yourself. It, it really is humbling, I would say, at the very least, training inside and, and doing these type of workouts. So, love to hear your feedback down below in the comment section. Also, give me a thumbs up uh, if you would like this training series and this video series. We also have vlogs coming back here. Um, if you want to pick up any Create Your Nutrition products, we have our stress product that's coming out soon. We've been de uh, developing that and formulating that since last year, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, our pre-workout, our greens. I take all of our stuff and it's extremely high quality. We have nutritionists, we have formulators. We have everyone on board developing this brand because we really believe in providing high quality products at a very low price, if not the best price on the internet with more servings. It's important. So um, yeah, that's that. And then if you have any questions, just shoot me a message on Instagram at the B Myers, or if you want to follow me a little bit more, check out what I'm doing and what I'm up to. I'm always updating everyone. I try and be as transparent as possible on camera and, and, and showing you what's going on in my life. So I appreciate all the support over the years. I've been on YouTube for uh, seven years now. It's, it's, been a, it's been a journey. It's been definitely a journey. And yeah, I'm Brennan. This is the 30 for 30 series. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Peace.